Okay. Can we make it actually work? Let's pull that one down. I always look dark on YouTube and... Okay, now it's pretty balanced. All right, well, the window's here and the, and the ring light's here, and so... <sighs> we try to make it work. I'm both sad because Mommy came home from church running errands, washing the car and whatnot, and came right in and sat down for a video because we're at time. Usually this is our G-O-O-U-T-S-I-D-E time, but it's not right now. Uh, what do I have on right now? Well, I have very messy hair. I woke up this morning, had it in a braid, and liked how that looked, and so I decided to rebraid it. I didn't braid it all the way up, I, I, or all the way down. I just did a little half braid, and then uh, let things get messy, but they kind of got a little more messy than I expected them to. My hair is just short enough that it's falling out. I mean, falling out of a braid, out of a load braid. So, yeah, so I've got tendrils upon tendrils, but at least I have that now. Um, this jacket is too small. I used to be a little scrawnier and that's scrawnier. Ah, I've never been scrawny in my life, but, uh, I had this made in Haiti. I had another one that fit me really well that I liked. And so I went and got this fabric and said, can you make a black one? So it's a cute little black blazer with the little three quarter arms and whatnot. But yeah, it's, it doesn't close cause, cause I'm a little bustier than I used to be. Uh, the shirt is from Lane Bryant. When I got the jumpsuit that I wore for my niece's wedding. Yeah, I didn't wear a, what, uh, I was going to say a wireless, a wireless bra. No, not that. Uh, I didn't wear a strapless bra because I didn't want to. This actually has a bow that's supposed to tie up here that clearly came off, came off. I said off. <sighs> such is life. Anyway, there's supposed to be a pretty little bow there. No, imagine this is a pretty little bow. The earrings are, I actually got these from CVS. I had a discount, like a coupon, 50% off or something. I think it was what it was. So I picked this up uh, for my niece's wedding as well. And I decided to throw those on because those look, this is that weird time in between Christmas and New Year's where it's like still festive, but you're not quite sure what you're celebrating. So, you know, you just wear sparkly random stuff. Hi, Miss Charlie. How are you today? What's on the menu today? You always make me hungry. Do you have a good, a good recipe for jambalaya? I discovered my husband likes that because I picked some up at a restaurant and gave it to him. He was, <coughs> he was very happy about that. Right now, um, I'm, I'm doing my bestest to, uh, uh, make sure that paradise is happy because right now there's a bit of trouble in paradise which I can't get too much into because the other half of paradise is on the other side of that wall there. Um, <laughs> possibly listening, but probably not. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, it, it shall pass. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We're okay. But yeah, I'm curious, uh, Miss Charlie, if you have a good jambalaya recipe and also barbecue, I need to, I need to, need to learn how to do barbecue here. I'm thinking like barbecue chicken will be a good place to start. Just like making it in the oven, probably the best thing. Uh, Ethereal Essences is here. Hi, Ethereal Essences. Welcome back to the party. Uh, these glasses, I think these are Zenny. I'm pretty sure these are Zenny. They don't say. Oh, they do say Zenny. Yes, they are Zenny. They're so cute. This, they're like um, um, eggplant purple with these little fake diamonds here. I think these are, are those actual rhinestones? They are rhinestones. So, uh, and I did get my... My new prescription, it's not as bad as I thought. You've never had jambalaya. Ooh, that's good stuff. I just figure you like to cook, so I thought you should, you know what? That that Cajun food, the Cajuns, they know how to cook. They know how to cook some tasty stuff. Also, they know how to cook some weird stuff because there's some weird stuff that grows in the bayou and that exists in the bayou and that slithers and crawls and chomps in the bayou. <laughs> anyway, um, one of these days I'll take hubby down to New Orleans. It's been two and a half decades since I've been there. It's about time to go again. Yeah, let's see. What were you we talking about? The glasses. So I went and got my eyes checked at Target because that's one of the places that's close by that our insurance goes 
two, whatever. Anyway, you know, $10 copay, that's easy for the, for the thing. They did give me my prescription and I made sure to get the PD on there, um, which is the pupillary distance, the distance between the two pupils here. And I think I was close, but I think I might have gotten it a little bit big because it's hard to measure on yourself. So they said 63 millimeter. I think I had it at 67 before, but the glasses I've got seem to be pretty okay. Um, the prescription isn't super or different, except that now I'm old enough that I have to take my glasses off, as you have seen more than a few times, to read like this little fine print down here or whatever. Some of that stuff on the back, I would need to take my glasses off to read that comfortably or hold it out that distance. Then I'm okay. But if once it goes here, it's too dizzy and it gives me a headache. Um, yeah, Southern folks cook weird stuff. Exactly. And that's a lot of that is because that's what grows in the South. There's weird. I mean, in Haiti, they cook weird stuff because that's what that's what you have access to. And some of it is just like tradition. You know, when when you have um, everybody has their they have their highbrow menu and then they have their commoner menu and every culture has it. It's really interesting, actually. And they have what they make from leftovers that becomes a delicacy. So like um and it's funny because you don't quite know where, like what, what it is. So for example, in uh, Latin America, um, goat head soup is, well, in certain parts of Latin America, goat head soup is a delicacy. And that's not, uh, you know, that's would be garbage for a lot of people, but then they turned it into a delicacy. And even things like, you know, tongue and, and um, liver and stuff like that, that a lot of that would have been thrown away by certain groups and then, picked up by other groups and it's just kind of fun. And then, and then it becomes delicacy and then it's really highly valued. And then, so you don't like some cultures go like something as, for, for example, it's really, it, to me, it's interesting in Haiti because in Haiti you have cat is a delicacy, but dog is eaten in dire cir circumstances, but you've never admit it. Why is one okay? And the other one's taboo. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. They're both house pets, right? So it's just kind of funny. Um, Oscar de la Renta frames for $11 through your insurance. I, yeah, see, that's the thing is frames, not so expensive, but because I need uh, bifocals and not bifocals, but like the transition lenses. I mean, I could do bifocals, but I just think transition lenses are going to be easier to deal with. I hope because you put an order in, um, they were going to pay for up to $160 on my frames not too bad, but the lenses were going to cost me 160. So I was probably going to be paying around 200 bucks for one pair of glasses. So I ordered four from Zenny for 220. So we're going to hope I have had really good luck with Zenny. I've got lots of Zenny glasses and they're so cute. They're so cute. So I think what I'll be doing is <coughs> going that route. So, um, Mag, Magda, Papa Deru. I, I know I slaughtered that. Uh, but welcome. And tell me how to say your name or what you go by. And then Makeup Diary 14. Welcome. That one was easy to read. So um, anyway, so I should have some glasses coming in. People like my glasses videos. I was looking back at all my videos and the ones that I've got a couple that are over a thousand views, which of course, you know, I've, oh, by the way, I do have a hundred view. I have a hundred subscribers. Thank you very much, everyone. 102 or something like that. Um, and so I'm really excited about that, but the, uh, biggest videos or the most popular videos I have are glasses videos, mostly Zenny. So apparently people really like Zenny videos and or there just aren't enough Zenny videos out there. So I'm going to do some more. I know a lot of you guys don't wear glasses, but I know some of you guys do. And uh, you can just side pass or just be around for my charming personality. So I'm just, yeah, we'll just talk about it. I may, again, at some point I need to get another computer and then we'll figure that out. Uh, yeah, it's funny how people, do you do Makeup Diary? Do you do um, glasses videos? Um, I think what it is is glasses have become such a fashion statement. People are like, ooh, I'm gonna wear glasses. And now people that don't have prescription are wearing glasses. And then of course, blue light blockers are like a thing. I think it's a scam. I don't think it's legit. I think it's kind of along the lines of anything else they can sell to you with by putting fear, instilling fear into your soul and then saying, if you don't buy these glasses, you're gonna have this problem and that problem and the other problem. And you're like, that's right. I do have trouble sleeping, ignoring the fact that you just drink too much caffeine. 
that's me anyway um so yeah i think i talked about everything i'm wearing that you can see oh by the way my foundation because i'm noticing it's kind of looking nice it's actually looking dewy and i think that might be my base but it's looking glowy like nicely glowy not like um greasy um put some reading glasses on and my latest reel and seems to go over well yeah you know a lot of people wear glasses and we wear glasses for you know some people are are nearsighted and, and farsighted and then people like i said people do it for uh, just reading or for some people just driving some people for fashion <laughs> i mean it's kind of everything and then you have the now everybody doing the blue blockers even if they don't wear glasses so um, i think glasses are cute clearly because i wear them it used to be that it was just like you know i don't like it and actually maybe i should do a video of why i do why i wear glasses instead of contacts or doing lasik because there's a there are some very specific specific reasons yeah i was saying these earrings came from cvs I had a 50% off coupon and I went in there to see what I could see. And I saw these and they seemed like the thing I should get for my niece's wedding. So I got them and I am really liking them. They're super cute, not overly anything, but they're just really pretty. Um, the foundation, <clears throat> I'll show you the combo. <coughs> it's in my <coughs> monthly basket, excuse me. Still coughing, uh, you know, whatever. Um, Sana Sana is here. So I had to think, I had to look at that for a second just to see, to make sure I was saying it right. I put this on as a base uh, and I'll be doing, of course, the end of the month, I'll be doing a um, little mini reviews on everything in my monthly basket. I can't believe it's the end of the month already. It seems like I just did one of these videos, but this is the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. And this is Radiant Perfecting Primer. I got this in a Walmart box, I think, a Walmart beauty box. Um... And I'll, I'm going to respond to that in just a second. Um, it has like a little bit, I'll just get a little bit out of here. You can see it's kind of like a lot, you know, those glowy um, primers are kind of all the rage now. I'm going to wipe a little bit on the back here and see if you can see. You see that luminescence? So it gives that luminescence. You can't see it as much on YouTube. Um, fortunately, most of my peeps are on IG. Um, and if you, yeah, if you have a problem seeing me on one or the other, just go, switch over to the other one and you can see me there. I do want to do some like YouTube ex exclusive content once I have time. I just don't right now. Um, but I'll do, I'll do more of a, of a review on this, but I put that underneath and I do notice it, it gives a really nice luminous look without looking greasy, even though my nose is looking, you know, shiny cause it, that's what my nose does this foundation i've struggled with this is the oma uma woma by sharon c beauty i don't know what, how, what order those words go in but this is the flawless irl skin perfecting foundation for one i have it too light i made a mistake when i picked this up uh and i got fair lady t2 What does T stand for? I don't know. Anyway, um, it is too light for me, but I can, if I use uh, a powder, like I'll use this powder, I've got the Fit Me powder in there, that tends to make it look okay. But this one more is better. Um, if you use too little, because I don't use a lot of base a lot of times because I don't like it looking cakey, but this one, if you don't use enough, it'll start to peel apart, not peel apart, like separate and come apart but now like i used this before and it was getting really annoying because it was all separating up here mostly this morning i used more and it just uh comes together come together right now on my skin uh yeah so that's basically what happened it came together right now on my skin so uh, my eyes are oh i know why never mind um <laughs> Yes, yeah, CVS discounts. Okay, CVS, CVS is expensive usually. Uh, I mean, expensive-ish because it's a drugstore and it's the convenience you're paying for. But definitely sign up for their discounts because you can get some really decent discounts. And then pay attention to your notifications, whether it's email or I think most of them are text, aren't they now? I don't know. I think I get mine text. Also, uh, Walgreens. 
So they both have really good deals. Walgreens has more sales. I find as you go in, you get a lot of like buy one, get one, buy one, get one 50, whatever. So there's a lot of really good stuff there. Um, so their prices are generally better. And I also like that we have a Walgreens here that carries number seven, which makes me really happy. But definitely sign up for the discounts because that'll make a difference. Also, oh, that was Zenny. If you're, if you're a Zenny person, um, sign up for the discounts there too. Miss Charlie, do you... Have you used Zenny? I'm curious. Or have you, do you just have like one pair of prescription glasses? These people that have one pair of prescription glasses, I'm like, oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> but for years and years and years, I just had the one pair. Actually, I had two. I had one that was like 20 years old. That was like this teeny tiny little, I mean, literally the lenses were like this wide. Literally. They were the smallest glasses on the planet Earth. But I, they were really cute back in the day. Um, and then the other ones were like twice that, that size, but they were still really teeny. And, um, yeah, and then I, when I started getting new ones, like they're just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but I still have some small ones because I do, I do whatever I do. You know, if they're cute, I'm like, Ooh, I'll rock those. I got some action in this last haul that you'll see. I look at this, the shape and I'm like, I know that shape's going to be funky for me and make me look like I've got really fat cheeks and I don't care because they're cute. And it's funny because I got another pair that does that to me and I get so many compliments. Every time I wear those, I get compliments. All right. Let's talk about these two palettes sitting right in front of me right now because these are the ones that I have used or I am using. This is the one I used over the holidays. Ruby May, are they doing anything anymore? This is their Peppermint Mocha. They put these on sale for like, literally they were giving them away. I mean, literally like $2. They ended up being like 2 or $3 a piece. Uh, Fortunata, Hope is here. Welcome. This is the Look, it's beautiful. It says beautiful. You're beautiful. Um, actually, it says you're beautiful because it appears as you're. Uh, this is so cute. Mocha. So we got mocha, candy cane, chai spice, uh, eggnog, cranberry. So this is eggnog, cranberry, ginger, peppermint. I just like the names are cute. Whip. Whip. Whip it good. Uh, green apple this one. So it's a really cute palette. Um, the mattes blend beautifully. There's not, there's a lot of depth in here, which I like, but there's not really anything light, which could be nice to have, but it's, I don't think it's necessary because you can always grab something from another palette, especially us, right? Um, yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas. Uh, yes. Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year and all those good things. Did you do anything exciting for Christmas? We went out of town to mom's house and it's funny every year my mom is like oh everybody has their families they don't need to worry about me i can just be here by myself you know she has this like she feels she doesn't want to feel like she's an obligation to anybody and we're like we want to like this is the thing when are we going to grandma's house okay let's go. everybody calls her grandma when are we going to grandma's house okay let's all go to grandma's house so yeah we all show up there and i put some pictures up um uh, naim naim how do I say your name? Is it Naeem or Name? Um, yes, welcome. Uh, so this is a really cute palette and you can get some really nice Christmassy looks. I did a neutral, you'll see these posted at some point. I did a, a neutral look with this, these two and this one and that one. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And then I did a couple green and red variations. Super cute. All of the shimmers perform really well, except this red and this green are the least performers. Um, so, hmm. But the the mats are really nice. So all your kids are home for Christmas. Oh, sweet, fun, um, great. I like when family gets together for Christmas. And you guys, not to be Debbie Downer, but you know, you got to think about, um, think about the people that you know this year who lost someone around this time of year. And that just, I just remembered I need to reach out to somebody. This is the hardest time of the year. If you lost somebody in the year, and a lot of people have, um, this is a, this is the hardest time of year. So reach out to them, tell them you're thinking about them, you're praying for them and let them know that they have somebody there. So, um, yeah, they, you know, people deal in, in different ways, but it can be a really hard time. Also, Hey, are you being nice? Who are you throwing at? Is there somebody out there on your sidewalk? How dare they? Um, also, if you know people that are secluded, um, whether they're in your family or somebody that, you know, a neighbor, somebody like that, reach out to them as well. Carolyn is here. Hi, Carolyn, Nicole. Welcome to our party. We're looking at makeup and also being inspiring to each other because that's what we do. 
Uh, this is uh, Fortunata Hope asked. This is the Ruby May Peppermint Mocha Palette. And I don't know if this is still available. It was available for a long time and super deep discount. I mean, it was like discounted down to $5 and then it was like 50% off and then other stuff. It's crazy, crazy cheap. So I got three palettes from them at that time and they're all really good performers. Does anybody know if they've got something else coming up? I don't know. Should I Google that? I'm not going to right now, but um yes and i'm trying to answer everybody's questions so hopefully i'm getting to you makeup diary 14 said agreed very difficult this time of year for and such a good reminder to reach out yeah this is i try to remember that every year just to think kind of go back and think of the people that have lost someone or people that maybe are um, shut in for the first time or even not you know just kind of all on their own people who've gotten divorced whether or not it was a good divorce or not you know in some cases it's it's amicable and all that kind of stuff but you know you're still if you're still um on your own it, people that are living out of the country those i because i've been there right living in haiti for for years and and whatnot and it's it's hard when you're living out of the country and you're like without especially when you have traditions that are very strong in your country and then you go to another country that does not have those traditions for that holiday it can be really hard or people that are here if you know immigrants that are here my husband is one um the holidays are hard because, you know, like I was talking to one of my other Haitian friends today. He's like, yeah, you know, in, in Haiti, especially during the holidays, that's what we do is we get together, we hang out, we talk, we eat food, we drink, we, you know, sing music, whatever it is. And that's the whole holidays like that. And now you're here and you're secluded and you don't have people to hang out with. So lost two on December 21st. That's, that's hard. I've got a cousin um that lost a husband and that funeral will be coming up on the seventh and yeah especially the closer it gets to the holidays that's the hardest thing when everybody's celebrating and then that's just gets you closer to the day so so just remember everybody um that's all part of the season i think enjoy it don't be sad about it. it's kind of like mother's day right mother's day i say go ahead and enjoy it and and be happy about it but then also remember those of us that have fertility issues and uh you know and or have had well and that's part of fertility but you know miscarriages or have lost a child or whatnot um that can be a really hard time but you shouldn't not celebrate you should just remember those people as well so um yes so definitely praying for everyone that has lost someone and or is otherwise not feeling themselves <laughs> the, the best this this holiday it's been it's been pretty good for me i just i'm stressed but that's not abnormal especially here in the united states nice palette really like them if they come out with something else i think i would definitely try it i feel like maybe they had something that was a little bit more neutral that just didn't tickle my funny bone or something like that i'm not sure this is the one i'm using right now i'll show you my eye look so you can kind of see it's a little smudgy i had some uh traumatic early morning and so there was a uh, a little uh watering happening this morning so if there's smudging underneath the eye that's what it is but it's basically just that pink uh across the top and then some blue on the bottom um this is what i'm wearing so this is my only pat mcgrath ever in my entire uh long-legged life uh it's so cute it's the holiday palette and i'm really glad i picked this up this is this was one of my spontaneous i need that sort of things and i paid the full price like a moron I might have gotten like a 10% discount. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, but, um, it's a really pretty palette. It's not as colorful as, um, a lot that I like. I'm going to push this black one down because it looks like it's going to pieces want to fall out of it. Um, do I have a white here or did I throw that away? Apparently not. Okay. Let me grab another one out of here. Oh, here it is. It was underneath that. Um, yeah, the, the shimmers in here are beautiful. There's only four mattes, which I actually like because who needs a whole bunch of mats when we've got so many. This is really, it's the shimmers that shine. Ha 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 ha. Um, really nice. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I do think it's worth it if you get these as special shades, kind of like you would get another sparkly palette. However, if you don't want to spend that much because I got one. I hit her crazy. Oh, okay. You got this one, the sign one. Okay. See, I should have waited for the sale, but I didn't because I wanted to 
get it at the time. And yes, you're absolutely right, Miss Charlie, celebrating their lives. And that's a great way to look at that. Not that you should not mourn, but celebrating lives is a great way to look at it too. Um, okay. I know that's like five different topics we just talked about, but that's okay. Cause that's, this is female minds. This is how female minds work. We can do this. We can jump from one topic to the other and not even lose a bait, a beat. <coughs> I said a bait, a beat. I just picked this up. This is the flower beauty jungle lights palette. I'm going to swatch a couple of these right next to each other, just to give you an idea. Let's see which one is closest to that. I think maybe the one I'm wearing today. I'm going to swatch these together. They're not, they're not the same color, but I want to show, oh my goodness, man, that's pretty. Okay. I'm going to show you how these perform. Okay. This versus this. All right. So one and two, tell me which one you think is which you might've, you might've actually seen which one I got them out of, but tell me which is one, which one is which I'm going to put them on the back of my hand. Now, there are different, two different shades that we're looking at. One is Pat McGrath for $70 or whatever. One is Flower Beauty. Which one? Which one is which? So this was, what did we say? One, this is one, and this is two. One, two. Which one, the darker one is one, This the lighter one is two. Which one do you think is Pat McGrath and which one do you think is Flower Beauty? I'm going to do another one. Let me clean this off. Flower Beauty is the lighter one. Okay. Anyone else? Um, let me do greens. I'm going to compare greens because there's a couple of greens. Actually, there's a couple of golds in here too, but let me see. See which ones are closest. Almost everything has a match except the, the uh, Pat McGrath doesn't have a purple. Um, Flower Beauty is, is two. One is Pat McGrath, two is Flower Beauty. Okay. Flower Beauty is one. I have I have two that say that Flower Beauty is two. And I have one that says Flower Beauty is one. All right. So we've got greens. One, two. Okay, I'm gonna put them here. One. Two. You guys are gonna be like mad at yourself if you spent $70. Kind of like I did. All right. Now you might be able to tell which one. So this is one and this is two. This is one and this is two. This is one and this is two. So which one is Pat McGrath and which one is Flower Beauty? I mean, look, you cannot tell a difference in the performance on these. You can't. The only thing you can tell a difference really is the color, but there's no difference. I mean, the there's no difference. Flower Beauty is collabor collaborating with herself. Drew Barry Muller is collaborating with Flower Beauty. I didn't see that. Are they coming out with another palette? Because, hey, if they come out, I, the, the desert lights, I wasn't that crazy about because it's all, it's all uh, neutrals. But after going through these, I might want it. One, Pat McGrath, two, Flower Beauty. You are wrong. One, is Flower Beauty. So Flower Beauty is this one and this one. Pat McGrath, when I used this color and this color, the pink and the green, the pink is the one I have on my, on my eyes. That is this one and this one. Isn't that crazy? I mean, there's, there's zero difference in the sheen and the shine and the richness in the, um, there might on this, when I look at it this way, the flower beauty might just be a little more thick and the um, Pat McGrath might be a little bit more luminescent. Plus this one, it does have a flip. It's like a gold to, to pink or pink to gold flip. But if you did not buy this one because of the price or you did buy it, you should get this one because this one's $17 on Ulta and you can get discounts and stuff like that. Um, so you definitely, and I think it was 20%. I don't know if they're still having the 20% off. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> you need this. I waited and waited and waited and waited on this one. I'm, 
it, that was a dumb decision. I should have just gotten it. I think I'm going to actually do something different this next month in my monthly basket. I'm going to put a palette in there so I can be like using it as an accent. And I think I'll put this one in for the next month just because I can. Flower Beauty Moisturizing Lipstick is really nice. I bought one called Snapdragon. So good. That's what Makeup Diary 14 said. And I have not tried anything else from Flower Beauty, so I probably need to check it out. Uh, Celestial Odyssey. It looked pale. Oh, this one? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was like, which one? I should know the Celestial Odyssey. I was like, oh, that's right. This is the Celestial Odyssey. I don't look at the name. Um, it looked pale. And by those swatches, I'm glad I didn't get it. Those two are pale, but I will show you. I'll show you the richer ones just so you can kind of see. I already showed you the green. Um, these are beautiful shades, um, but they're... So these are, that's four of the Celestial Odyssey shades. This is the black toned sort of, I, that is a beautiful, man, that is such a pretty shade. Um, and so different from a lot. This teal is stunning. This uh, bronzy sort of one is a little bit of the darker ones. They don't have the names right on here. So, and then this is like an orange, burnt orange, terracotta, coppery sort of thing. So those are really nicely pigmented, but yeah, it is actually fairly neutral. So, um, I wanted it because I wanted to try the Pat McGrath, uh, formula and that just seemed like the way to do it. Um, yeah, I was just making sure I didn't miss anybody else's questions or anything, but let me clean this off. I'm using brush cleaner to clean the back of my hand because my wipe right here is dry. <laughs> Improvisation. And I'm and I'm too cheap to open up my wipes and use another one because that means that I have to go to the dollar store and get more. Oh, so Life is just so difficult when you're cheap like me. Yeah, they're really beautiful. Pat McGrath is very nice, but I'm telling you, the Flower Beauty, it's, a, it's just as good of a formula. Get this one, definitely. Pat McGrath, get that one if that if that uh, speaks to you and you have the money to do it. You know, you do what you want. I don't care. I mean, I do care because I love you all. All right, so I have a big pile of palettes here. That's actually my bubble, more or less, for January. But I also have this big old, not big old, but this, uh, well, it's a pretty decent size. This right here, these are palettes that I have in my collection that I think will be really good for wear, but that I haven't really used. I have a lot of palettes I have not really used. So that's why I need to stop buying them and start using what I've got. I also just unloaded a bunch, um, decluttered, gave them to nieces and nephews, not nieces. No, I don't have nephews that wear makeup. In fact, I don't have, I don't have a lot of nieces that don't wear makeup. Um, but yeah, nieces and sis, well, my sister didn't cheat either, so. Yeah, I tried to give them away and people are like, we don't wear makeup. I'm like, you should. Um, you're right. I'm not cheap. I did feel pay full price for Pat. Okay, I'm cheap. I'm just a sucker. I mean, whatever. Um, yeah, I think this is a, is probably like, a, you're right. Uh, Ethereal Essence has said it's probably, it's definitely Pat McGrath's best value. I think that's true because I've seen some of their other stuff and I'm just like, eh. I can't justify it but this one i think is really nice and i think um the pans are a little smaller than the other ones but who needs these massive pans i'd rather have more colors just me all right i'm gonna just pull these out randomly uh and these are just i'm gonna talk about these and why i'm excited to use them this winter and um kind of what i'm thinking why are they winter to me all of that stuff you guys can chime in and tell me what you think let's just actually let's start with this one I'm excited about this one. So my good pal from the UK. Um, so Pout and Shout is a fantastic artist. My fingers are so dirty. I am going to go ahead and open this up. Grab a wipe out of here because I need to clean these for real if I'm going to swatch anything. Um, so Pout and Shout, fantastic artist and she makes makeup. So one of her first palette she made was this thing and it stole my heart because it's so stinking cute and it's on the purple side which y'all know I'm nuts for purple um 
And I'm like, I want that. So I got a bunch of stuff from her and I threw this into it. I have since gotten my little froggy palette, which I also need to use. But this is, I feel like this, I need to reserve this for spring because he's so perfect for spring. Look how stinking cute he is. She just did a bird one that's just blowing my mind. It was not a palette, but it's a um, highlighter or, or something like that. Um, I was able to buy her five pans, which were half off at Sephora. Okay. What I want to say, Sephora, Sephora. Um, yeah, that if you can get the smaller ones at, if you can get them on sale, that's that's the time to do it. This is the inside of the Froggy palette. So cute. I showed that a couple couple weeks ago. So I will be using that, but that's to me. This is this needs to stay until um, spring. So we're gonna hang on to that until spring. But this one is very wintry, and I haven't really gotten into it. You see, it's pressed down, so I've definitely um, swatched it. These ones at the bottom, these are like a putty. Um, and I'm not sure how to use that, but I'm darn it. I'm going to find out. Um, and I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to see how these ones do the, it's an older palette and it's, you know, she's changed her formula. So definitely not judging the formula based on this. I feel like these putties need to be built up, but they do nicely build up. And they kind of then make a base for everything else. This is a kind of a highlighter. Well, it's not kind of a highlighter. It is a pretty brilliant highlighter. So you kind of dig them out of there with your finger. And I have to talk to her and see how she recommends using these the best. Um, and then I feel like these are really nice. Um like highlights sort of, oops, there we go. Let me back up so you can see. There we go. Can't see too much, but this is more of a silvery white and that's more of a pink. And then you've got that more uh, purpley grayish tone. It's really nice highlighting colors. And then the other ones, I'll put those on the back of my arm. These are kind of, I don't know if there's anything that's actually just, well, there looks like there's maybe two that are straight up mattes. The other ones are kind of shimmery. Um, dry my hand and we'll do the next. This would be the middle row. The one I just did was actually the bottom row. Now this is actually a pretty light palette, which might be why it was still there and not sold. I just thought it was so cute. Um, but they do pick, you know, have pretty decent pigment. So, uh, that first one is a nice deeper Brown. This one I feel like can be built up a little bit more. This one's more cool. It looks like. Um, Pat has not gotten my attention enough to make a purchase. That's how I feel about Charlotte Tilbury. You know, people, people are all about her. I'm, you know, whatever. If you hear, you know, waterworks in the background, just ignore that. You know, people wake up from naps and they have to relieve themselves and not close the bathroom door. Cause why would you do that when you, when you live with your dearly beloved who sometimes you dearly beloved and other times they annoy the crap out of you. Oh, relationships are great, aren't they? It's funny. I thought about you, Miss Charlie, when you're talking about like hubby being home all the time. And I'm like, I kind of got spoiled during the holidays and he was working all that overtime now. Now we have to figure out how, if we still like each other. Um, so then you have these like purple colors. So they're all really, really light. But I thought this would be a nice time to use these and kind of get into them and see how the formula is. And then I'll compare it with the Froggy palette when that comes out. Um, but really, I got this for the artwork because I just thought that was so cute how she did that. Um, nine lives of Mother Fluffer. Mother Fluffer! Watch your language. But isn't it cute, little kitty cat? Oh my gooshness. Uh, yeah, so she made this, customized it and whatnot, and... I think it's adorable. Um, I won some Charlotte Tilbury in a giveaway. You know, people do giveaways and they tag me all the time and I almost never, never enter. Once in a great while, I'll be like, oh, I really want that. And then, you know, whatever. Um, only bought the bronzer. Yeah, never tried that. The only thing I have from Charlotte Tilbury is the Pillow Talk lip liner. And I got that in a subscription box. And um, it's really good. It like grabs on, it's like sticky. So it grabs onto your lips and holds on. Um, yeah, you said, you. she just said, Miss Charlie just said, I kept the lip liners, which are nice. Yeah, the lip liners are really nice. 
other than that, and I don't think I would pay for them, but they're, they're nice. All right, here's another little nine pan, but this one's not quite as unique as the other one. But I mean, it's, it's, it's not one of a kind. So this is the Huda Beauty Gemstones Obsessions. To me, this just screams New Year celebration and also just sparkly winter goodness. Um, the tones are a little bit more cool in there. Like I said, I haven't gotten into most of these. This is a little bit um, stiff and whatnot in the, the formula, but the colors are really, really pretty. That might be another one to put in like um, a monthly basket and just see, because, you know, since it's all shimmers, that might be a fun one to put in there. Um, another one to put in a month, in a monthly basket, just to kind of use it and, and whatnot. Oh, they are cute. They are kitties. Yeah. That's what, they, that's what they are. They're little cats. Exactly. Um, if you're wondering what those are. So shared my winnings with the person who recommended me for the giveaway. Oh yeah. That's the way to do it. There you go. That works. Um, I don't win anything. So, so, um, these are, these quads are probably the worst thing that Juvia's Place has come out with as far as, um, eyeshadow palettes in, maybe this year. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, not that they're bad. It's just that the color stories are not, they weren't, well, I feel like this is like somebody was like, Hey, let's try this. And we'll just throw some stuff together and see what happens. Because if you look at this, you have basically the same color three times. This is a satin, and then you've got two shimmers that are, I mean, these are the same color, basically. They're like, why, why would I need that? There's very, okay, that's not a shimmer. That's a, that's a matte. I like, but they're like really, really similar. Those two, those two um, shimmers are really similar. And then let me do the dark one. The dark one's really the only one that, uh, that's different. So I don't understand. They should have had like a gun metal or something like that in there. That would have made more sense. But I am excited to try it because I think it's beautiful and the formula is great. It's just that the color story is a little limited. But I need to get through these and I got them because I am a collector of Juvia's Place. So basically whatever they have. The only one, the Olori, I have not yet gotten. I'm still waiting. They keep advertising 50% off of everything. But then when you go to the site... You have to search Aloria and it's not included in that. So, uh, Ashes, A S H S, top shelf, uh, is with us. Welcome to the party. We're talking about stuff I'm excited to use that I have not really used. I've dipped into it. I may have done like one look or whatnot, but I haven't really gotten into it. And so I'm excited to use it for the winter in addition to the other ones that I have set up. So much stuff. So much stuff. Uh, number seven. I am really interested to see how this compares to Tom Ford because to me, the formulas seem really, really similar. They're both those satiny, kind of shimmery, satiny, muted sort of color stories. We'll see. Yeah, the new collection, exactly. Um, I'm waiting for that to be 50% off and then I'll grab it. I, I, I paid full for these because, you know, as we've already established, I'm a sucker. Um, yeah, you know what? This is what's going on here is we're looking at beautiful color stories. So this is a little bit muted for me, but I thought it's perfect for uh, winter. And I, as you can see, I haven't really gotten into it. I'll just swatch a couple of these so you can kind of see what we're working with. Um, they're nice. They're all, it's all satiny, shimmery, not super shimmery, but just a nice satiny. They're very, they remind me of the Tom Ford quad that I have just as far as the formula. I could have swatched those, but I didn't. So sorry. Sue me. The Budget Vanity. Ooh, I like that name because, you know, I'm also, I, you know, I say I'm cheap, but then I do things like, you know, buying these at full price and buying the Pat McGrath uh, Christmas palette at full price. But then I buy this. And if you truly are the Budget Vanity, okay, Budget van Vanity, tell me, do you have this or anything else from this? Because you can't call yourself the Budget Vanity if you don't have these. No, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Um, I have done three looks on the the green one and the mauve one see this pink this pink doesn't show up at all there's nothing on that pink but you know what i don't even care so that's the first three colors so there's there's a little bit of color on here and then this one is a really nice shimmer oh let me get the light there we go there's a light on that one um i was at a weird angle on that um, 
but this bottom row is where it's at. So this is one that I haven't really used. It is definitely more neutral. It is more cool tone, which um, it's not my coloring, but I love how beautiful cool tone neutral looks come together. So I'm excited. Kind of in the silver, you know, the the Rebel Quad grays. Um, those are beautiful. So I'm I'm excited to see how that one is. But you, as you can see, my my groove for this winter really is kind of that smoky, dusty, dusky. Um, gray, gray and dreary. <laughs> but I think it's so, I think it's so pretty. And when it's done really well, it's really pretty. And it's really nice if you put like a little bit of pink with it. So you put like a little base of pink and it works. And I have tried, you guys know, no knows. you guys know, there we go. Let's try it using the, we use our words, Priscilla. Um, I've been working on this palette. It's supposed to be in my pan basket, but I removed it because I was using it. Oops, I stuck my finger in it. Uh, I've been working on trying to get some more pan in here. I don't think that's going to happen before the new year because I've got literally a couple days. If I do, it's going to be in one of these, but I don't think I'll be able to finish it. Um, but this gives just enough color there. So if I put this down first and then put the gray over the top of it, it keeps it from being too, too, uh, like washing me out so much. Because, I mean, I'm not a gray tone person. I'm not, I don't have a, like a blue undertone or anything, so... A beautiful tired eye. Yeah, you know, and I bet grays look like they might look really nice on you. Even though that's not really your coloring, I feel like that would just accent your eyes and whatnot. You have blue eyes, right? I don't remember. Um, Makeup Diary is who I'm talking to. I love gray and pink. Yeah, gray and pink is beautiful. And uh, Miss Charlie, you look fantastic in gray. Um, and a lot of that is because your skin is darker. And when you are pale and you wear gray, Sometimes you look like a ghost, but when you are nicely tanned and actually makeup diary, you, you seem to be a little bit more tan too. That might be why it works really nicely. Um, oh, green, green eyes. Okay. Yeah. I have the darker eyes and whatnot. And so it's kind of the opposite. It's kind of like if I want to wear pastels, it's, a, it's good in theory, <laughs> but it doesn't always work because my features are dark. And so it's kind of like what in the world, the, it, it gets washed out and whatnot or washes me out. So. Uh, I like to put something that's a little bit more neutral and darkening on the outside of it. And then between it and my eyeball or my eye lash line, then I'll use the color that is less flattering. If you want to use that. Yeah. Um, Imran4918 is with us. Welcome to our party. So this is the Uma Woma Uma. They need to like put, they probably already have a video up and I just need, somebody needs to tag me. If they have a video up that says how to pronounce their name, let me know, tag me in it so I know how to pronounce it. Coming to America. Uh, I do want the other one because this is really cute. I have not really gotten into this. Um, and I think I may actually use this for Wednesday because I just picked this up. So I might use that for our two looks. Usually I try to use something that's a little bit more contemporary, but these are uh, like almost 50%. I think they're 40% off maybe at Ulta right now. Um, and so I think more people are picking them up. They only had like one or two reviews on them. And so everybody's like, I don't want to get those because there's no reviews. But I think if we can, I, and I feel like people didn't pick them up because we just didn't really know the brand yet. And they were a little, they're $30 or something like that, which is a little bit steep for a fairly small unknown little known but i mean look at that color story that is beautiful this blue right here oh that is so pretty it's that blurple color and then this green i love this green in fact there was a palette i just decluttered that i almost kept just for that green look at those colors they're so pretty so gorgeous um they're just different they're not like full out a lot of palettes just go like bold, which I love, but I also like sometimes when they're just nice and subtle. And, and then of course, then they have the bold, they have this gold that's like crazy. And then this one is bold. So yeah, you definitely get the bold, but then you get, to me, the shimmers are a little bit more subdued other than the gold, the both of the blues and then the purple and then the pink, and then this little champagne -y color in the middle, then the, this one, this one, and this one are the mattes. 
And then this one is a little bit more bold too. So I think it's great. I think the, the combo is really beautiful and I'm hoping I can do some really nice looks. So I'm going to keep that out and I think I'll use that for Wednesday. Um, and then this one I've had for, I think I got it. Oh yeah, it's right there. TJ Maxx for $3.99. There you go. Oops, come on, come on. And actually it was on my, it was on my want list for a while. I got to block it away from the, the ring light. There we go. $3.99 backwards, but it's there. Uh, Mateo 03 is here. Welcome. So this is their cool tone, colorful palette. And then it's got that little pop there, uh, kind of in that area, but it's got these pretty smoky grayish sort of colors here. These two are really similar. There's a, this is supposed to be more teal. I'm going to pull up a little bit more pigment and see if I can swatch these out and get, get them to show themselves. Show yourself. Yeah, those are really, really similar. They didn't need both of those, but they're pretty. And I, I like I said, I like that subdued sort of coloring. That gray is pretty. It's just a hint of gray. That's really cute. Like smoky, cloudy, foggy. And that's a pretty nice black. So I'll, I'll play with that one. And who knows, that might become my replacement once I get through that other Mad for Matt. So these Mad for Matt, I think they're really nice palettes. Um, they're just a little underrated because I don't know why. I think they're, they're nice. Um, this is Holy Smokes. That's the name of that one. But yeah, it was on my wish list for a long time. Then I didn't get it. And then I saw it at TJ Maxx. And I went, oh, okay. Look at that one. Uh, this is one I rebelled against cancel culture. And as, as cancel culture was kicking in, I was making an order. Because I don't do cancel culture. It disgusts me. But also, I was really annoyed because they actually gave in to cancel culture and fired the CEO for some completely false accusations, by the way. I can prove it. Um, now, I mean, it wasn't false that there was a picture. It's just false that the picture actually indicated what people said it indicated. So Ofra, they got some heat. Look at that. That is such a beautiful, cool tone palette. And this is the color that makes me want to use it for winter. Look how beautiful that is. I want to actually grab this shimmer at the end too. Those two seem so similar to me. Hmm. That's, that's a little surprise. Oh, you can't even zoom. Ah, washed out, washed out. Where's the angle? Um, it surprises me. I'm trying. Surprises me that they have both of those colors in such a small palette that there's not like a medium frosty purple. But that's okay because I think it's, oh, this one looks like a satiny maybe. But it looks like the, the mattes are the ones that are really going to be the start of the show. Plus this one. I don't know how I'm going to do like three really distinct different looks with this, but darn it, we're going to try. And we might have to add that purple with it just to really... Give us some zhuzh. Uh, Viviana, oh my goodness, that's a long. Viviana Ari, 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 Gada, Ma, Maquillaje. Okay, I got the Viviana and the Maquillaje, but everything else I can't figure out. But welcome. <laughs> um, mad, Mad, Virsh, Mimd. Okay, that some of that is not definitely not words, but welcome, um, Barcelos nine one nine four, Coach Yogesh Loken is uh, welcome to everybody who just joined. <laughs> Even if I can't read your name, sorry. Tell me how to say your names, and I will greet you properly. I uh, was gonna get an O for palette in the Boxy Charm drop shop, but didn't. Which one? I got the one with a little green bit. That's gonna be cute, and I think I might actually take that to Dominican Republic with me because it's got the whole face palette right? Yeah, I think. Um, and that would be a win-win down there, I think. All right. Y'all know I love me some purple. Believe it or not, I've had this for a minute and I have not properly dipped into it. Why? Because I was kind of saving it for a special occasion because it's so stinking beautiful. This glitter All right, you can kind of see what's going on. Let's just swatch that out so you can get the full glory of it. You're not going to get the full glory because it's not in person. But, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, 
my goodness. I don't care if you like glitter or not. You need that. You need to just put it all over yourself. Just bathe in it. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, I can't wait to use it. Uh, I was thinking it would be great around Valentine's Day to do a nice, pretty purple look. Yeah. Um, this was, I think, the last holiday release. It was this one and the gold one. And I've got both of them finally, but have not used them properly. So this one will be getting some use this winter, I hope. Um, the colors were too pale and neutral for my taste. Oh, yeah, you know, Ofra does that. Ofra is definitely white girl makeup. That's, and that's the, the thing. You know, you're going to get that with, with different things. Um, Odin's Eye used to be that a little bit more. I think they've gotten a lot more bold. But, yeah, I have some of theirs that I really like. I love the performance of them. But they're just, they can, you're like, unless you're the color of paper, which, you know, a lot of Scandinavians are. I'm not. Um, it looks great, but whatever. Yeah, glitter is great. Do you have this one, Miss Charlie? Because that glitter on there, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I've got two Profusion palettes here. They just happen to be here right next to each other that I want to use. This one is, oh, you got the gold one. Okay, yeah. I have not properly used the gold one either, but hopefully I will. Um, this is the Royals. This one's been discontinued. I picked it up. I think I actually got this on Amazon. Um, that's the Royals, and I have not properly used it. I've swatched it, and that's it. And it just looks so pretty for, it's got those jewel tones. So for me, winter goes one way or the other. It either goes, well, okay, it, it, there's purple. Purple is definitely winter. Purples and blues are definitely winters. And then that smoky grayish, washed out, you know, ethereal, foggy, whatever. And then jewel tones, like this sort of thing. So you get these pops. And the great thing about this is it has this whole warm section in here. So as you're getting into spring, that can be great. But look at those colors. These are so pretty. They're not the most pigmented, but who cares? Because it's a $5 palette. Um, and you can make really cute looks with these. So some of their palettes are fantastic. This is probably want, not one of the better performers, and that's why it was probably um, discontinued. Do I care? I do not. I'm going to use it and enjoy it. And then when I decide I don't want it anymore, I will declutter it. Um, mauves. Profusion. This is another one that I think is great for winter, and I didn't really have a lot of mauves in here, but this is also more pink-toned mauve than a purple tone mauve, um, if, or blue tone mauve, I should say. This is more on the red side than the blue side. And so I like that idea because it's kind of a berry mauve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought that would be nice because, and that's the other thing, berries, berry colors are beautiful in the winter. Okay, I've just expanded to basically meaning all colors are beautiful in the winter. Um, Marta1980 is with us. Welcome. I need to find the Metallics palette from P Profusion. Uh, I do. They don't have it on the site, do they? Um, I think maybe, do, do you know where, if it's on like Amazon or something? Because I know Amazon will get, will have a lot of those. I, I'll have to take a look at that one. I have to take a look at that one. Um, because sparkles, sparkles are my friend. All right, here's the next set. Those were kind of the small palettes that I had in the mix. Um, so now let's get into that larger sized palettes. Because, of course, the small ones were on top. Now it's going to be opposite. And they're all going to fall over. Big East 90 is with us. Welcome to our party. So this is from um, XX Revolution Decadent Deluxe. Any guess why I needed to get this one? Purple Velvet, I mean, come on. My inner prince was coming out and wanted to play. Um, it's still got the plastic on it. I have swatched it. Look at that. Again, it's pale. It's frosty. It's muted, but... Oh, okay, let me rip off the plastic. Come on. Um, we got to go for the bright ones, because I can. So that's that corner. That's not too bad. You got yours at Walmart? How long ago did you get yours at Walmart? Because I I have not seen those. Ooh, those are pretty. Okay. Let's go to some of the shimmers. Shimmer. The shimmers in here are pretty muted. In fact, several of them look kind of similar, but that's okay. You know, I'm not here to judge. Actually, that's entirely untrue. I am absolutely here to judge. That's literally what I'm doing. 
yeah, those are all, <laughs> that's four of the shimmers. Here's the fifth one. Just one, one, two, three, four. Five. Yep. Oh, there's a, there's also a berry colored shimmer. I'll put this one on my thumb so you can see. I, 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 see? Yeah. Okay. They weren't very creative with the shimmers. One, two, three, four. But you can see they're slightly different. Five. <laughs> uh, uh, XX Revolution, you had a good thing going, but you definitely needed a little depth in those shimmers. I mean, you know, they're beautiful, but again, it's kind of the same thing I have with that Odin's Eye palette, the Alva palette. It's beautiful, but I don't need four of the same shimmer. That is the pretty one. That's the berry, the berry shimmer in it. There we go. So that, you know, they're, they're nice, but again, you don't need a whole palette of just those shimmers. Um, I think the color story is beautiful. I just think it probably didn't get as much, um, attention because it's a really safe color story, but it's super pretty and it's purple. So what can I say? Speaking of purple and jewel tones, now this is on the other side of the purple. That's pretty. So these are, again, quite wintry purples. You got a little bit of a berry there, which is totally fine. And then you've got a little warmth here. But other than that, it's pretty cool. And to me, that's just a perfect balance there. Um, the gray and then the, the matching silver is really nice. And then you've got this um, coppery sort of one over here. Yeah. And then these two are shimmers here, too. Those two are shimmers. The rest are all mattes. Beautiful. Not tried it yet. I'm excited to. Um, about a year ago, I have not. Our Walmarts around here have only recently started regularly stocking Revolution. Uh, not Revolution. Uh, Perfusion. Um, and so I haven't really seen them there recently. I have a lot of Revolution palettes, and they are beautiful. Nothing from the Pro Series. Um yeah, I this is the I think this is the only one I've got from the Pro Series. I don't know. Here's the last of the Sydney Grace Tentalia that I have not done three looks on. And as I said, this is the opposite vibe that I have for winter that those um jewel tone. I mean, I've got I've got to dip into this because you can't not. It's got the berries, it's got this whole section of berries with this little warm um pop there, and then you've got these incredible blue, like cool tone blues, this green, which is just like so Christmassy, even though we're not on Christmas, but that's okay. And that gold. I mean, to me, this is Mardi Gras. I've been saying that that's Mardi Gras. So even though I don't celebrate Mardi Gras, if I did, I would use this. And in fact, I might actually do it. When is Mardi Gras? January something. No, February is it January, February, it's February, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So I'll have to take a look at that and use that. These are gorgeous. I'm getting like my, the back of my hand is like permanently gray because of all these colors mixed together. I just need to wash it for good, but that's because these are permanently gray. Those are my wipes. Time to go to the dollar store. All. Hey, uh, this was sitting on the side and I almost forgot it. This is the bite size truffles eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. To me, this is just kind of a perfect neutral wintry. Um, yeah. So I decided to use this because I've got all these. Need to use them up. Need to use them up. All right. LA Girl. Y'all know I love my LA Girl. These 16 pan palettes are gorge. I'm going to take that plastic off too. Look at this. So it's the blues that had me. It's more on the um, the warm side, even though some of these do run a little bit cool. But those blues, I love that. And this this definitely can feel like a, a summery palette. But I feel like I just wanted to have something like that in there because um, it's so cute. So this is the Fierce and Wild um, Instinct palette. These are fantastic performers. I wish they had a few less neutrals because they do go really neutral heavy and i wish they had more 
like another row that was kind of bright like that. Um, whether it's oranges, you know, brighter oranges or something like that or something. I don't know. Um, but they perform like a dream. Absolutely gorgeous. So excited to get into that one. Smith and Switzerland, BH. Another kind of dusty, musty, little berry, little that you got that blue that's like that wintry blue. And then you've got the grays. You've got the kind of winter green sort of colors here. Um, yeah, this is such a great, to me, this is such a great uh, winter palette. Bottom two roses, what that should have been. Yes, you're right. And that's the problem with, well, it's not a problem. I'm not going to call it a problem because you're literally buying those palettes for $15 a piece and getting spectacular performance, like Sydney Grace quality performance. Call me a liar. I don't care. Um, if you hear the frog in the background, that's my husband's itchy throat. He always does that. It's I don't know what that deal is with that. I can't do that because it's like, to me, it's just weird. It's, it feels weird, sounds weird, and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway. I don't even need to say anything. I don't even. It's funny because I say that this might be in the runnings for my per perfect purple palette. You don't see it, do you? It's there. So this is like a um, aubergine sort of purple. This is like a blue tone purple. This is like a shimmery duochrome purple something else. This is um, a purple, I don't even know what that is. Here's a darker purple. Um, so many of these are, and then even the, the pink and the blue definitely push that direction. And then you have the greens and stuff, but who cares? Cause that's all goes together in, in my mind. This is such a good purple palette. If I had to pick a favorite purple palette, that might be it. It's possible that this might be my favorite purple palette. I know it wasn't intended to be a purple palette, but Annette did it. She did it on this one. It's so beautiful. Can't wait to throw it all over my face. All right, this one I have used a little bit, actually, um, but I used it before I was really doing, like, you know, what's the word? Chronicling. I was just saying chrono chrono chronologically. No, that's not where it. Chronicling my my uh, makeup journey and everything. Um, you wanted to get all of Annette's palettes that she collabed with. She only collabed with two so far, right? Because if she collabed with another one, you need to tell me so I can go buy it. I've got the two because she it was uh, um 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 um. Menagerie Cosmetics and this one. But if there's another one, let me know. Legging style. Leggings are such a great style. I love them, but what I don't like are tights. Why is it why is it that they can't make leggings and tights work? Why don't leggings people just put a foot at the bottom of their leggings? I I, I don't know. Why does that not work? What in the world? Why is it so hard to make tights that actually fit, but leggings don't? And I know you got the extra space in the bottom, but that's not where they don't fit. It's at the crotch that they don't fit. People, get your act together. Go talk to the leggings person. Ask them how they did it and do it that way. Okay, anyway. Uh, revolution. Back to Re Revolution. I was on a Revolution cake a while ago because they're so cute. Uh, yes, only two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic, and I hope she does more collabs because she's adorable. Um, and she is like my makeup animal spirit. Um, this has kind of the whole winter vibe. I know I'm, my fingers are so incredibly dusty. It's not even funny. Um, because it has the blues and the berries and the purples and the grays. Um, it looks much brighter here than it actually goes on. It's very buildable, more so than just being super, super pigmented at the start. Although there are a couple that are. Some of these in these um, in this formula do get a little bit hard pan. I don't think I have that problem here yet. Well, actually maybe no. Oh, there's a little bit on these top, the top two, this purple, this teal, those look like they want to hard pan a little bit. Um, that's easy enough to, oh, and also these, these ones on the bottom, this one, this one, and this one all look like they want to hard pan a little bit, but that's easy enough to take care of. You just go in with, um, a tacky base and your, your applicator and pull it up that way and it'll just 
pick it up and then you can use it that way. You can either use that to take it off or, and then use what's underneath or just put it directly on your eye. Uh, you can also, I've heard people use tape. I haven't used that. I just use the tacky base and that takes care of it. It makes it all fluffy and pliable. So this is going to be a fun one, maybe closer to spring because then it'll be much more colorful and whatnot. Here's one I hemmed and hawed and I thought, you know, I'm going to put it in there. I almost decluttered this one, but I thought, no, I want to use it because I feel like it needs to have my attention. So this is Siate London. This came from a subscription box. That's most of the ones I'm just decluttering. That's where they're from because, or not necessarily. Some of them are just ones I've had for a while and I just am tired of them. Um, but this is a, it's mostly neutral with some of this like grayishness. There's some of the winter green sort of idea in here, gold, and then lots and lots of very neutral sort of thing. Um, it's nice, it's cute. We'll see if it's spectacular. I don't know. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really dipped into these, so I don't know. I should be ashamed of myself for not having dipped into this one other than just, you know, initial try on and stuff. And it looks like it's been dipped into more than it has. This is the Basic B um, collab with Midas, the Perception palette. It is gorge. And it definitely can be wintry, but I wanted to grab something like this that would be more for like the later. Um, and I want to just, just make sure that this one is, is being used because I need to. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. I have two left here. We're almost done. Um, let me see where we're at. An hour and 11 minutes. So let me take a drink of a sip of my coffee. I'm, a, I'm excited to see what you guys have too for the winter. We'll see. And also I will be ranking my, yeah, ranking my uh, last 10 palettes that I've used during the month. I will do that. I have a lot of things I need to do because I also need to show you my winter glasses out of my, out of my collection the ones that I pulled out for the winter time, including these ones. Aren't these adorbs? These are so winter perfect. I mean, I love these glasses. I think these are like, these would, are kind of everyday glasses, but still glam and still, I don't know. I don't know what these are, but they're great. Uh, Ella Fafi Mohammed. Welcome. Um, I am not sure if I pronounced your name correctly, but welcome anyhow. Dreamy2 from Nabla. They need to come out with some more stuff and they need to make it more colorful so that I will be more into it. But their shimmer formula is so pretty. It's kind of, it gives me the same vibes as Odin's eye. It's just so sparkly and ethereal. And I mean, you just, even though it's not super pigmented, they just, oh, 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 I guess we'll go with that one. I only have four fingers, so I have to choose wisely. They're so pretty. Of course, I'm of course I'm going to get into the sparkles. Oh, I didn't get enough of this one. Let me get back into that one. There we go. Oh man, that's pretty. This is basically a it looks like almost a press glitter thing. That one. These don't pick up great, but they perform beautifully. Is that this one? Yeah, hidden place. This is the greenish. No, nope. that's the wrong one. First of all. Now I gotta clean my fingers because I did the wrong one. Okay. Um, I'll do the last one while we're waiting for those fingers to dry. This is the little orangish color. You can kind of see that that light one in the middle. I wanna I wanna give you a little bit better. So this is Lucid Dream, which is the lightest. Uh, and it's almost like a green tint on that. Oh, they're just these are the ones that just you will see them and their full glory in person more than you will in pictures or on a overly lighted setting like this. So pretty. So pretty. I have one more of theirs and I've looked at the cutie palettes and they're super cutie. Um, but I, I don't like six pans unless they're really great six pans. Um, other than that, I want a little bit more options and they're just, they're, they're good but they're a little bit too monochrome and monochromes that I'm not crazy about. So I don't know. Um, okay. Morphe. This is my one and only Morphe. I barely even, 
I think I just barely swatched these, but this is such a great winter color scheme. You've got the blues, you've got the taupes, you got a little bit of the, the brownish sort of and pinkish sort of thing going on here. But the shimmers are what I'm excited about. Let me get that light one too. I'll put them here. So there's the dark blue. Ooh, man, that's pretty. So that's a deep, deep blue. And then there's an ear. And this is like a highlight. Um, those are pretty. And that deep, I mean, that's like a midnight blue. And then with this, oh, that's going to be a thing of magic. So I'm excited to get into that one. I'm going to fill my Black Friday haul vids today. So they will be my first vids for the YouTube for the new year. Cool. Uh, I'm not doing a Black Friday vid because I basically, mine's just a running diary of what I get. Cause I don't, I can't wait. I can't, not so, I can't wait. Cause I used to do it. I used to do like, you know, pre-filmed videos. And then I was, I, my setup wasn't cooperating with it. And so I started doing lives and I'm like, oh, I like doing lives because I like when you guys come and visit me and hang out and talk to me. Um, cause then I get to know you and it's fun. It's like we have real BFF time. Um, so those are all the palettes that I really want to make sure that I'm using through the winter, January, February, March kind of thing. And then in April we'll be getting to springtime. So I hope we can make that work. Uh, Wednesday eight ish. We'll be tapping into this guy. That's going to be fun. Um, there should be additional pretties joining us. I did a story today about buzz agent is sending me a foundation. And I'm kind of excited about, I don't actually have a lot of foundations. I have a lot of tinted moisturizers cause that's what I tend to go with, but I'm like, maybe I want something a little bit more. I don't know. I'll try it and see, see what's up. Uh, LJZR 2677 is with us. I like try to see if that made a word and it doesn't make a word as far as I can see. So, um, or unless it's LJ. Uh, yeah. So welcome. Anyway, that's about what we got. I've got, um, elf will be showing up here shortly. Zenny will be showing up shortly and buzz agent will be showing up shortly. And then we will be getting into the next month of, Ipsy. And I did, by the way, they did sign me up when I, when they gave me the free bag, they signed me up for the bag again. I'm like, you know, whatever. That's okay. I think they're sending, um, is it a NARS something that they're sending that it was like, Oh, okay. That could be interesting. And then, um, Walmart, the regular Walmart box I'm supposed to be getting, and that hasn't shown up yet. So I hope that they don't forget it in light of the other ones, because there's no tracking on it yet either. But it, you, sometimes it takes a while for them. So, I mean, you know, Walmart. They can't even find their find their uh, cashiers. How are they supposed to be able to send out a package? So, um, anyway, that's all we've got. That's that's about what's going on. Uh, Christmas great was great. And time with family. And we'll have more information coming on that. Tested the LMA Foundation for Influencer. We'll write your review soon. Okay. So Miss Charlie did the Elmay foundation. Can you, can you get, tell us if it was good or bad? Elmay. Who, um, who has a favorite from Elmay? They've been around for so long. There's one, they're one of those brands that kind of baffles me because they're always in the, in the drugstore, but I don't know anybody who's like, Ooh, Elmay has the best fill in the blank. Um, and they're not the cheapest. So why, I mean, do they have like a cult following or something on something? I don't know. Who was it that I was, that I was talking about last time? We were talking about last time. Miss Charlie, I think maybe you were here too. Eight Reasons is here. Welcome. We just went through a whole bunch of palettes that I am hoping to get through for the winter time. So you can Go back and look at those if you're interested. Um, but yeah, there was there was somebody, one of the drugstore, I think it was a drugstore, like one of the higher end drugstore, whatever, that had like a cult following. And now everybody, there's not, they're not releasing anything else, but people are like, oh, I loved them back in the day. And so they go for them. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll may, maybe it's just marketing. Maybe they just need to market more and then the rest of us will be aware of it. Cause it, my guess is it's just people that have been using them for years and are like, Ooh, I love this, you know, powder, whatever it is. And nobody else knows about it because it just, they don't send stuff out to influencers or anything like that. Cause you know, that's all it is. If you don't, if you don't use influencers, you can't basically can't exist as a business. It's kind of, kind of how it is. All right, guys, that is all I have got to say for the time being. <coughs> I'm going to eat something because I haven't eaten anything today. And uh, Rainbow's looking at me really cutely. I'm going to I'm gonna show you, you uh, IG people. You say hi, Rainbow. Say hi. Hi. Hi, people. How are you? Can you see her down there? She's looking cute at you. Oh, little grunch. She says it's time for Mommy to take her outside for a walk cold outside though it's like 10 degrees or something like that um they market towards people with allergies okay that makes sense okay so if they have sensitive skin they have a niche market that would make sense why they're still there okay yeah it's just like one of those things i always see them i'm like i don't know anybody who buys Almay, and i wouldn't even know where to start with Almay, but that makes sense okay now we know good to know all right i will see you guys and i can hear my stomach growling because i talked about food so it's time to go eat See you the next one, Wednesday, 8 o'clock. I will be using the um, Coming to America palette and showing you stuff I get. That's it. Bye.